We go so fast that we lose sight of the most important thing of all, the notion of time, the people we love. We live as if they will always be there. But it's not true. We all know that the people we love the most will one day die. Carpe diem. Who knows what that means? That seize the day. Seize the day. Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. Because we are food for worms, lads. Because believe it or not, each and every one of us in this room is one day going to stop breathing, turn cold, and die. So why would you be afraid of failing at something? Why wouldn't you dare to try it knowing that time is running out? We often think, what if I can't? When we should really be thinking, what if I can? Because life is only a temporary experience and we should make the most of it. I'd like you to step forward over here. And peruse some of the faces from the past. They're not that different from you, are they? Same haircuts, invincible, just like you feel. The world is their oyster. They believe they're destined for great things, just like many of you. Their eyes are full of hope, just like you. Did they wait until it was too late to make from their lives even one iota of what they were capable? Because you see, gentlemen, these boys are now fertilizing daffodils. Live one day at a time. Don't worry about what might happen tomorrow. Don't worry about what might happen in a year or six months. Just do the best you can now with all your passion and strength, wherever you are, with what you have, and don't worry about the rest. Someday, something bad's gonna happen that might cost you your life, or something much worse. And on that day, you can't begin to think that you're to blame for something you could never control. Understand? So let go of the fear that claws at your heart, the fear that whispers, what if I can't? No, better ask yourself, what happens if I get it? Knowing that deep down, even in the darkest hour, the sun will find its way back through the clouds. Embrace the present, appreciate the good and trust that even in the midst of the storm, you have the strength to dance in the rain. Which is why how you live doesn't make sense without enjoyment because in the end that's the only thing that matters we're here enjoy until the party's over imagine that when you write a book there is no option to erase or go back a page how carefully would you write that book because let me tell you that is life moments don't come back and opportunities don't repeat Fear is not real. The only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination, causing us to fear things that do not at present and may not ever exist. It's a choice. We are all telling ourselves a story. When you start to doubt yourself, remember everything you have faced, all the battles you have won, and all the fears you have overcome. You can handle this and much more. I understand what you're going through, young man. I swear I've been there. And I know what it's like to feel abandoned and be mad at everything. And you're a better person than that. Forgive him. This is nothing you can do about it. Think about it this way. Without rain, nothing on earth would grow, nothing alive would exist. So it's better to learn to embrace the storms of your life because thanks to them, you are who you are. Folks who have lost stuff, and we have, man, we have, all of us. Our homes, our families, normal lives. And usually life takes more than it gives, but not today. Today it's given us something. It has given us a chance. To do what? To give a shit. For once. Not run away. The only person you should compare yourself to is the person you were yesterday. That is the person you have to surpass and the one you should focus on to be better. There is no certainty in this world, only risk and opportunity.
When you face your fears, they go away. That's the secret. If you hold back because of fear, your life stops, because nothing seems better than staying hidden. In the end, the person I needed the most was the one who taught me that I don't need anyone to be strong.